Hi everyone, it's Leanna here. We're doing our week my update on the mushrooms. We are in the storeroom. It's been holding at about 62 degrees at 60% humidity. I think the humidity is fine. Actually, the humidity without the tents is be, would be too low for the mushrooms from everything I've read. But um, they're slower in here. Um, the lion's mean has this one little bump here. The oysters have not done anything yet uh, here in this room. I mean, it's really slow. Um, no pins or anything at this point. The Rishii are making mushrooms, but they are slower than the other one, which we'll see in a little bit here. I, not Rishii, shiitake, I should say. Sorry. And the Rishii are slow in here, too. Um... But they are starting to form a little bit, but not like the other one. So we'll go in there in the grow room, utility room, um, and take a look there. But we also, this is the amount of light they get. This is about 11 o'clock in the morning or so. And a south-facing window, so actually the light won't get more intense for a little while yet. Um, so two factors could be causing this. could be light, and it could be be temperature. Uh, I'm going to guess possibly light for some of them. Uh, we're going to do some more reading. I have a couple mushroom books coming on cultivation and identification. I have a few here at home I've been looking through. So it's kind of where we're at here with the mushrooms in the storeroom for week one. So we'll go over to the utility grow room. All right, so here we are in the grow room, utility room. As you can see, here's the lion's mane. It's forming. It's got clump there, clump there, a couple there, and one there. Nothing really on top at this point. The oyster mushroom has that clump. It's a nice big one. We got some pins going on in the side. Kind of that's where that's at for the night time being. The shiitake mushrooms are really taking off. There's some, you know, funky looking caps. Could be because of crowding. Uh, let's see what was some of the other reasons for deformation. I think possibly um, not enough air circulation and maybe not enough humidity. Um, I will look into that some more. And then our Rishii are forming bumps in here. I think you can kind of see them. They're a little little hard to see, but they're there. You can kind of see there and there. So they're, they're coming along. I think they are a little slower than the rest. So this room maintains 72, 74 degrees. Don't know what the humidity is in here. Um, I would say it's probably close or a little bit less than the other one. There's quite a few things with moisture in here, so <clears throat> that could be the difference. The difference here, there's more light here, obviously, um, and the temperature range. Some of the mushrooms like a little bit warmer than 62. Uh, been doing a little reading so that could be the problem a five or six degree jump in temperature make a difference probably in that storeroom I'll probably be bringing some mushrooms in here uh, after a while um, but it could also be light because some like the light um, others it's not a big deal I've grown portobellas in that storeroom in the past and had really good luck with it, um, but then they're portobellos in a box. They're pretty easy to grow, pretty tolerant of pretty cool temperatures. They kind of really like it darker in a roundabout way. So uh, that room probably is better for portobellas overall. Um, 
but we'll see. We can see there's a difference though in what the mushrooms are doing in here. Oysters don't like it to get too warm or too dry, but they seem to be doing pretty good. Their caps are pretty good. I'm kind of going by what I recall the summer from the ones that grow on the poplar trees that we have here, otherwise known as, um, oh and that's totally escaped me. Uh, anyways, the poplar trees is where our oyster mushrooms grow here on the farm. And that's totally by nature, so uh, whether we get a whole lot or not is dependent on a lot of factors. And one of them is heat um, and uh, humidity. If the humidity's high and the heat's not too high, um, they grow like gangbusters. Uh, you get it too high humidity, they dry out. Not enough moisture, they dry out. Um, so the oysters probably a, a slightly bit more fussy mushroom uh, and the rishi I, I, I guess are a slightly bit fussier mushroom but um, as for growing the shiitake so far we're doing really good and and the lion's mane is actually doing not too bad too either I've got a lot more clumps there so it will kind of just play it by ear but this is the week update so we'll talk to everybody later and have a good day.